Hi again, this is Gretchen and we're going to talk a little bit more today about um, exporting your book and saving it so that you can publish it with a different publisher besides Blurb. So where we left off last time was um, I had sent the book to Blurb and then we'd gone through the process of ordering it. So if you don't want to send your book to Blurb and you want to use a different publisher, that is fine. But again, you need to make sure that you pick the um, type of publish uh, type of size of book that you want and there's all these different sizes and um, you can decide which one is going to be the best for you what you want to do is I would recommend exporting it as a JPEG and so like I said once you choose JPEG instead of blurb you get some different options here I would lift up this JPEG quality all the way up to 100. I think by default it's set at 60. I would make sure it's at 100. Your color profile is going to be best at, with sRGB and your file resolution should definitely be up, up at 300. For the media type, um, you can choose glossy or matte. I think glossy is going to be a good choice, but that's entirely up to you. So what we're going to do then is we're going to go ahead and click export book to JPEG. And then you're going to um, get an option of how to save it. And you're going to um, get a pop-up of where you want to save it. So I'm going to save it in my, I'll save it in my pictures. And um, I will save it as, oopsie, Sedona book. And I will click save. And this is going to take just a minute, so I will pause this video and then come back when it's done saving. Okay, the photo book isn't quite downloaded yet, or isn't quite saved, but I just wanted to show you the progress bar going on up here. So wait a little bit longer until it's done. Okay, so my book has been exported and saved as a JPEG. And so I'm going to go ahead and open up my Windows Explorer. I'm going to find my Sedona book. Let's see, it's up here. It's going to be created in an actual folder. It's not going to be like a bunch of picture files. It, it'll Lightroom will create a book for you. And you can see here how it has now created individual pages for the whole entire book. And since I had a wrap, had chosen a wraparound cover, it created the wraparound cover here. Now, if you don't want it to create a wraparound cover, obviously you don't have to, but it created a special type of uh, image file there that was longer that you can use as the image cover wrap. But otherwise, each of these pages then, which are square pages, because remember I was working with a seven by seven page uh, book. Um, so each one of these images are square and then within the actual page are your um, your little images that you put in there. So when you go to um, upload these pages to a publisher of your choice, you would just upload each one of these pages in the order that you want to upload them. And um, that's how you would do it. 